Yeah. All righty. Well, hey, it turned out to be a little bit chilly out there for trick-or-treating tonight. But hey, I mean, you know, no sleep, no rain. Talked about that. No snow. That makes a big difference. We topped out today at 42 degrees. That's 10 away from the average high this time of year. So yes, it has been cool for a while. We're going to turn this thing around though. Average high 52 records for the day. Well, really nowhere near that. We're at 38 degrees Burlington right now doing a 37 in Plattsburgh. Lots of 30s, northern New York, northeast kingdom down through Montpelier. Then you get into the 20s where skies have been clearer for longer. And I think that may be the case as we look at the five day forecast, uh, especially for tomorrow by the afternoon. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. One big difference tomorrow future cast wind. We're expecting that wind to pick up during the afternoon. So south to southeast wind. Look at this well into the teens. These are sustained winds. So with the wind coming pretty strongly and from that direction, it's going to be warm out there. Temperatures pushing the 50s. In fact, look at this. If you come on back in the regional weather map, you're going to find warmer conditions in the 40s. Places like Detroit, Pittsburgh, 50s, Chicago, Indianapolis. That's some of the air that is going to try to come our way. So I do think we're going into the 50s tomorrow, knocking on the door of 60 degrees day after that on Wednesday. So storm tracker got a line here. Figure right around Route 4 to the south. It's been clear. That's why it's cooler for you guys down there. Meanwhile, on the flip side of that, you come to the north. Clouds have been locked in place. I do think over time tonight they're going to break up. And watch this. As you come to the west, see this clear area right here? That is the first half of tomorrow. We'll see sunshine. Second half, well, it clouds up again. Just the chance for rain showers late in the day, especially well west of Lake Champlain. So here's how it breaks down. Partly sunny in the morning. 32. This is first thing tomorrow morning. No problem at all with the morning commute. More clouds mixing in by lunchtime and then into the afternoon. It's getting breezy out there. That's where the south to southeast wind is picking up and temperatures going into the 50s. We've got a weak area of high pressure. That's going to hook us up as we get into tomorrow morning. And then this system comes our way. Warm front goes through. Temperatures going up by tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night, temperatures don't drop all that much. Warm on Wednesday. Then this front kind of falling apart a little bit on Wednesday. So it's not really going to do a lot, but I do want to let you know as we especially begin that day, it's going to be pretty warm. So future cast 11 o'clock tonight. Not much going on. Here comes your tomorrow. There are your partly sunny skies. First thing Then we've got some clouds at lunchtime and clouds later in the day. And as I mentioned earlier, southern Vermont and then into southern New Hampshire, because you guys are going to be clear longer you're going to find more sunshine into tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night, relatively quiet. Then on Wednesday, just the chance for a shower or a sprinkle in the morning. I do think we'll find some breaks of sunshine in the afternoon. Clouds then thickening up. We're looking at periods of rain on your Thursday. That's going to be the next wettest day around here. So clouds early, some clearing later. 31 degrees for a low tonight. For tomorrow, partly sunny early. More clouds in the afternoon. Temperatures in the 50s for many of us, if not 50 degrees, you're going to be close 53 in the Champlain Valley on Wednesday. Just the chance for a shower that morning. Otherwise clouds, a little bit of afternoon sun, 60 degrees. It's going to rain on Thursday, 55 chance for a morning shower. Friday, 45 Saturday, Sunday clouds, some sun in there, 46, 47, 46 degrees on Monday chance for showers in there. And quick reminder for the weekend clocks, they go back. So we go back to standard time.